with another mini pocket bag haul. This one's only seven, so like I said, it's a mini haul. Also, before anybody asks this in about a week, when my next baby lips gloss review goes up, yes, these videos were filled back to back. That is why I'm in the same exact outfit and have it on my lips. I figured, what the hell, I'll just do them back to back because I actually kind of like how I look today. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, so. Remember how I was complaining that the day after I put in my order for my last pocket pack haul, they came out with Watermelon Picnic, and I couldn't justify buying just one from the website, had no way getting to the store to buy just that one, and I wasn't going to pay nine bucks in shipping from Bath & Body Works. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. It never dawned on me to look at eBay before for pocket packs and see if somebody has them cheaply on there with reasonable shipping. They did! Not only was I able to get Watermelon Picnic, but I was able to get the whole collection of the um, summer treats, the popsicle and snow cone ones. Uh, I'm not sure if it has a proper name, but that's kind of what I've been calling it, or just referring to it as the summer collection, so yeah. So first off, we have... Watermelon Picnic, which I think is adorable that they've got little rainbow uh, watermelons here, which I think is appropriate that it came out around the same time as the gay marriage ruling. I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. I love you guys. Um, some of you have been telling me that this one smells just like the last watermelon one that came out in the new packaging collection, but I disagree with that. I feel like this one smells like a much more natural watermelon versus the artificial watermelon. That last one smelled like, to um, give an example, it smells like the candy Jolly Ranchers type watermelon. This type smells like you cut into an actual literal watermelon and this is what it smells like. And I think it smells wonderful for that and I prefer this one a million times because of that, because it's not the artificial one. Although there's nothing wrong with artificial watermelon, but I prefer real watermelon, hands down, every time. Plus, rainbow. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. We then have pink grapefruit pop. You guys can see it, it's really cute. And this one smells like, you guessed it, what are, <laughs> not watermelons, grapefruits. And it smells like a little hint of something else. Give me a second. Call me crazy, but I feel like there's almost the teeniest, tiniest undertone of celery. Am I insane? Like, I swear, I feel like there is the teensiest little hint of that. It's like practically an afterthought. It's so subtle in there beneath the grapefruit, which obviously grapefruit's gonna trump almost any other scent, but I feel like I kind of almost smell celery in there. I don't know if that's what they were going for or if they were going for something else and it came out as celery, but it still smells really good. I actually really like this one. Yep, still smelling celery. <laughs> okay, next one is strawberry lemon. I bet you can't imagine what that smells like, right? <laughs> uh, you smell the strawberries way more predominantly than the lemon. Like, you basically almost don't even smell lemon here, like personally. For those of you who are familiar with strawberry daiquiris, this smells like those taste. <laughs> I mean, I don't think those being an iced drink really have much of a smell, but taste-wise, this is what it smells like. So, like, so convincingly so that I almost want to, like, out of habit go to sip it. I'm like, wait, no, that is not a drink. This is not a thing to drink. Ah, this is hand sanitizer. I'm in a mood today, don't mind me. <laughs> the next one is... Sparkling Sweet Nectarine. It's one with a little snow cone on it and it's adorable. And this one smells like... I don't know if nectarine is what really is going on here. It's what it's supposed to be, but... Like, I feel like I smell lemon in this one and not that one that's supposed to have it. Kind of like a mixed citrusy smell. There's no lime, but it does smell kind of in between lemon and more of the orange type citruses. It's kind of interesting, but it's not 
that nectarini to me. I still like it. It still smells really good, and I still highly recommend it. It just... Yeah, this one smells more to lemon like me than the one that's supposed to have lemon in it. Go figure. Then we have pineapple sorbet. Another one with a snow cone on it. God, I'm craving snow cones now. It's been many years since I've had one. And this one smells like pineapple and... It's kind of pina colada -y. It's almost like there's a little hint of coconut in there. It's an undernote, but it's mostly pineapple. Yeah, I think that's all that's in there. <clears throat> but it's not like an overwhelming pineapple, like some of them have been, where I've been like, oh, God, get it away from me. No, this one's a good pineapple. This one's more subtle. It's not so much kick you in the nose kind of pineapple, so I like that. Then we come to, out of the summer collection, what may be my favorite one, Honeydew Cooler. I am so impressed with this one, guys. I can't even begin to tell you. It literally does smell like honeydew, which, if there's a melon I love more than watermelon, it's honeydew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it just, for as authentic as this one smells, this one matches it. I was kind of expecting it to be like most things that attempt to do honeydew and they just reuse the watermelon scent and pass it off as honeydew and I go, that's not honeydew. Who are you trying to kid? Yeah, no, this one actually does and I'm really happy for it because I was thinking, I'm going to be super let down if that doesn't smell like what it's supposed to. So I'm glad that it does. Now I'm curious with um those body spritzers that they just came out with, the ones that look like they have the straws in them for the tube, uh, there is one with melon in the title, and it is green, so I'm wondering, is the melon they're talking about honeydew? Because if it is, I want it. Do any of you guys have it? If so, is it honeydew, or is it watermelon, or is it nondescript melon? Let me know in the comments, please, because I'm actually very curious about this. And then last but not least is Cool Coconut Colada. It's very pretty in its blue packaging. Y'all know how I love me some blue. And this one... It's pretty predictable what it smells like. It's a very coconutty flavor with... It's almost got like a vanilla-ish undertone to this one. I feel like there's something else in there too, but I can't quite put my finger on what, but I definitely smell mostly coconut with a bit of vanilla plus something. I don't know what the something is, I should probably go look at the website, see what the notes in this one are actually supposed to be, but yeah, that's just what I personally pick up on when I smell it. So anyway, that is the little mini haul for today. I'm sure I'll have more soon. Um, but anyway, for now, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Until next time.